What's happening guys? Right now I am in the heart of downtown Grand Rapids at Monroe Center. I'm so excited to get you the new cost of living in Grand Rapids. A lot of people have been asking in the comments, a lot of been, people have been asking, you know, what is it like to live there? How much does it cost? Or can I walk places? I'm going to break that all the way down for you guys in this video and it's coming up right now. For things to do and sights to see, you are now watching Live Great TV, and I'm your host to Living Great in Grand Rapids and the West Michigan area. My name's Vaughn Greathouse. Hey, I am so excited because I love making these videos. So if you wanna know more about the Grand Rapids area and what it's like to live, work, and have fun in West Michigan, make sure you hit that subscribe button, tap that notification bell so you don't miss out on all the brand new videos that I'll be doing each and every week because honestly, I love making these videos. But even more than that, as a licensed real estate agent in the state of Michigan, I've got your back when it comes to moving to the Grand Rapids area. So that name and that email coming across your screen right now is my direct contact. If you need to get a hold of me, feel free to contact me anytime. So with that being said, let's get into the video. All right, you guys, let's just get right into it. I, I love Grand Rapids. I'm so excited to help people move here, but it's really a big deal as you're transitioning to understand and really know for a fact what it's like to live in Grand Rapids. I mean, different areas, you might've been searching online what it's like to live in all these other cities, but I'm telling you right now, Grand Rapids is one of the most awesome places you could move. And a lot of people who move here don't like leaving. I know that people who I grew up with that left after high school and after college, they end up coming right back here. And one of the main things that is, is because it's a very family oriented place. I know that people come back and they settle down. A lot of people move near the lake. A lot of people move into some of the neighborhoods that are out here. You get big spacious lots out here. You get walkable neighborhoods. It's a really, really good thing when you're coming to town to understand what you're getting into. So when it comes to that, that's going to be one of the highlights. Another highlight is if you can't tell right behind me, there's a bunch of art. There's art all over the city. We just had our art prize event, which the winner of that event, which is a worldwide event where they actually are holding a prize of $50,000 to the winner. So $50,000 for something that you love to do is probably not that bad of a day. So it's just a really art eclectic town. There's so many different things to do out here as far as the Grand Rapids Art Museum. They have the Grand Rapids Children's Museum and they really hone in and they actually really take a lot of pride in the art of the city. So no matter where you go, you go to a restaurant, you're gonna see someone's art. You go to the library, you're gonna see someone's art. You walk down the street, just like I'm in now, you're gonna see art. It's a really, really cool place to be expressive and really is just, it's just a really cool, unique place. Now, with that being said, let's just jump right into the housing. Now, the average price of a house in Grand Rapids, and I'm just taking this just from what I know of selling real estate out here, is somewhere around $315,000, $316,000 for the average house. I'm talking your three bed, two bath, uh, you might have a finished basement, you might not. Just a nice ranch style home or traditional style home that you can get into, 316,000. And if you take 20% down on that with your monthly payment, you're looking at about, uh, I would say somewhere between 13 to $1,500, depending on you know your loan, your loan debt to income ratio and things like that. That's something to look out for. So if you're coming from a bigger town, maybe you sold your big house and you want to downsize, you want to save some money, pay some debt off. There's a lot of that going on right now. A lot of new construction, a lot of flips and things like that. Great opportunity to invest here. So it's a really, really great place as far as the housing goes. And you get a lot of land. You get that bang for your buck when you come to town. And uh, I can help you guys out with that if you need it. Let's get into the rents. Now the average rent out in this area is about $1,238 and that's going to get you a two bedroom, uh, 864 square foot house, square foot apartment, I'm sorry. 
is going to get you a decent apartment. You can make a nice, make nice commutes. They're in different areas. So it's all going to depend on the location of where you want to move. So as you're coming into town, taking a look at some of those pricing, that's the average of what you're going to see in this area. Some, it depends on your location because some areas are higher than others. So you definitely want to make sure that whenever you're coming out here, you're doing your due diligence, finding out more about those areas. Again, I've been here for a while, so I definitely can be able to help you out as far as where your lifestyle would match. So that's another good thing. If you're having any issues as far as financing or trying to find out exactly what your income is going to be, your debt to income, uh, Adam Bergsma, who's in some of my other videos, is a very, very talented mortgage lender. He just goes in with the nitty gritty with you guys. He digs in and find out exactly what that best fit for you is going to be when it comes to your monthly payment, making sure you aren't house broke because there's a lot of people who get into that situation. We want to prevent that, put some money aside for savings and really budget it out for you. So give, a, uh, give me a shout. I'll definitely get Adam in the loop and help you out as you're making your way out here. All right. The next thing is going to be utilities, knowing exactly what it costs on a month to month basis. I'm going to give you my personal experience and what that typically is. It's somewhere between as far as my heating and then in the winter, because we definitely get cold winters. I don't want you to feel like, oh, it's all the same year round. It's definitely not. We have the four seasons, so it's something that comes in mind. Sometimes that heat dial and the AC dial is something that gets moved around quite a bit. So in the summertime, you're usually looking at lower heat, obviously somewhere between $45 a month, maybe $70 a month is probably where your max is going to be. Uh, but then again, you're running the AC, so your electric is most likely going to be a little bit higher. And electric in the summertime is somewhere between that 85 to maybe 130 range. Somewhere in there is what you can expect. Now, when it comes to the winter, it's a kind of flip-flop. Now, you're going to use more of your heat and your gas. So your gas is going to end up going up a little bit more. So you're going to be somewhere in that 70 to 95, maybe $100 range as far as using your gas and your heating every year. And then when it comes to your electricity, depending on how you live your life or your lifestyle, how much internet you're using, how much TV you're watching, you're somewhere around that $100 range, anywhere from 80 to 120 as far as your electric. So I just want to give you an idea on that. Some of the cell phone companies out here, obviously you got your Verizon, your T-Mobile, your AT&T, all those companies that are somewhere around 100 bucks a month is usually what my bill is on a month to month basis. So it may be like that on other parts of the area if you have a significant other or you have a family plan you can definitely decrease that so just making sure you when you come out here like i said just making sure you're budgeting it out it's not too too expensive so i just want to give you a heads up on that now as far as your internet because a lot of people now are working remote they got internet that's a really really important thing some of the apartment complex and condo complexes include that in their association fees, which is a, a huge bonus for you because you're only making one payment, you're keeping that internet, you're working off of it. Some of them can be kind of spotty. So if it's important to you to have a solid internet connection, you plug right in, you want to make sure that you have your own and that's usually going to run you anywhere between 45 to about 120, just depends on how crazy you want to get. If you want to use a 5G and you know go all bananas, you could definitely do that. So depending on how important it is to you just you know reach out try to do some due diligence like i said find out exactly how much your monthly is going to be so you can budget that in as well uh, the companies that we have out here are at&t xfinity comcast we have uh, spectrum which is another company and we also have earthlink those are the prominent ones as far as internet uh, if you get stuck on that just let me know and i'll be able to help out as much as i can but those are the main four that you're going to run into as far as finding that good internet i know we have charter Charter Internet is somewhere out on the more on the lakeshore side. So that, those are the companies that are out there as far as your Internet when it comes to that. All right, let's get into travel and get into transportation. Now, in my last video, I was speaking of the dash and I was speaking of the rapid. Now, the difference in the two is going to be the dash is all mostly downtown. So you're going to want to use the dash if you're commuting from one side of town downtown to the other. If you live close to downtown or you take the rapid to the, the bus station and then you take the, the, the dash from there to your job. Uh, a lot of people work at the event centers, a lot of people work at the hospitals, some law firms down here, some different hotels and whatnot. So that's gonna be your route to get back and forth from there. The parking is, it's a pain, like I'm not gonna lie, the parking down here can be a pain. 
So if you can commute and it's easier for you to work down here, you're gonna be out here eight, 10 hours a day. You wanna make sure you can utilize that to the best of your ability. Maybe park on the outskirts a little bit, maybe at one of those, uh, those carpooling stations, you can take, you know, take the bus down. Make it a little easier on yourself so you don't have to pay for parking. A lot of these little green, they got these bright green tickets that they stick on your car. Trust me, I got, <laughs> I've gotten them before. So um, it, it's just one of those things you wanna kind of get ahead and be proactive when it comes to things like that. As far as the gas prices, that's really important because in my last video, I was explaining that the gas was like $1.80. Since then, as you know already, Gas has hiked up and gas in the area now is about $3.15, $3.20, somewhere in that range is what you can expect as far as October 2021. Could change by the time you get here, you contact me, but at the same time, that's what we're looking at right now. The monthly, oh, like I said, for the monthly on those, the dash and the rapid, the rapid is going to be about 35 to 45 dollars a month depending on if you get a discount or not if you're a veteran things like that they do acknowledge those um, and then also with the dash that's a free route it's a free ride you can ride from one side of downtown to the next and you don't have to pay anything just wait at the bus stop hop on go do your thing and it's a really really convenient uh, thing that they have down in the city all right let's get into health and wellness health and fitness um, personally there's a lot of really good gyms out here that I've known, that I've gone to, I've experimented, I've done a lot of free trials and whatnot just to check them out and see how everything's going. They have Lunar Cycle, they have MVP, which is which is like a, like a club, almost like a fitness club, and they also have the Y, the YMCA, which is a really, really awesome place. I used to take my daughter there a while back. I'm thinking about getting another uh, membership there, but it's definitely an awesome place. Uh, they have the swimming pool, they have the sauna, they have the gym, the indoor track, free weights, they have bodybuilder, ellipticals. They literally have a basketball court. They have all sorts of good activities, different piano lessons and all sorts of things like that. And it usually runs about 95 a month per couple. So that's pretty inexpensive if you're utilizing that. I always tell people, you know, whenever the gym membership gets expensive, you're probably not using it as much. That's usually the time. But if you're taking full advantage of it and join that membership, you're gonna be in great shape. So another thing is Funky Buddha Hot Yoga. They have plenty of yoga out here. I, did, I recently just did a free trial at um, Hot Yoga in Granville and it was a really good time. Get, to get your sweat on, you know, get to do your yoga stance and whatnot. I'm still working on my, my downward dog and things like that, but it's definitely a great workout that you can really enjoy. They have Lunar Cycle, almost like a Soul Cycle. Lunar Cycle is like this dark, it's like a darker room where they, you, they, turn, they pump the music on and you kind of jam to the music while you ride. They have some really cool things as far as health and fitness. So if you guys have any questions about that, feel free to reach out. I love going to the gym, working up a sweat. So those are gonna range anywhere from $10 a month all the way up until about $150, $160. So depending on what you like the most, you can definitely get a good sweat and uh, enjoy the gyms that are out here. We're really big on fitness. You can jog down, down the river, you can jog through downtown. A lot of the little outskirt towns are, have plenty of sidewalk and bike paths that you can use. There's Kent trails out here if you want to just get a, get a bike and just go on a bike ride. You can pretty much go through the entire city, which is like a 10 mile stretch. Then you can go through the woods. It's literally very, very scenic here, very green. As far as when you're coming, you can definitely get a good workout during the summertime. Oh, don't want to forget something that's been really cool that we've done every year is GRSSC, which is the Grand Rapids Sports and Social Club. It's like $65 and you literally can do flag football, you can do dodgeball, kickball. They have all sorts of things that you can team up with different people. Like if you're new to town, that's definitely something that can help you get engaged with the city. They kind of pull hat, pull names out of a hat type of deal. Or if you have your own squad you want to bring, like some of my friends and I have done, we brought our own team, we stuck together and you know, won some kickball from time to time. So it's a really great time. And then afterwards, they'll head out to the some of the local bars or restaurants and grab a drink and get to know one another. So it's definitely something to keep you active without having to feel like you're going to a gym. So that's a really cool thing that you could take advantage of as well. All right, Vaughn, you're talking about all these cool things and spending all this money, but how much does the average person make in Grand Rapids? The median income in Grand Rapids area 
and that's definitely gonna be somewhere around the 32,000 mark as far as per year. Now, when it comes to getting that two bedroom apartment, that's the average place that someone's gonna live at. If you're thinking of save, you know, putting money to the side, saving, doing things such as that, keeping your budget, being budget conscious, but also knowing that you can live and not be house broke. You can go out for a drink every once in a while, head to a concert if you want to. We do get some pretty big names out here. They had uh, Dan and Shay, they have Justin Timberlake, Ariana Grande, they have all sorts of big names come to town from time to time. So it's really something to look forward to as far as the Van Andel Arena. They have the intersection, they have uh, the DeVos Place, which is another venue, which is kind of probably another block and a half behind me now. So there's a lot of great things to do in Grand Rapids as far as activities. Uh, the Tree Runner, I talked about it in one of my other videos, uh, the five pros and cons. And the Tree Runner is a really cool place if you want to just get outdoors. Yeah, they strap you up into this little harness. You get to walk around these ropes and whatnot. It's a really cool time. I, you end up sore afterwards, at least I did. So um, it's a really cool thing that Grand Rapids has so many different things. And I live here and sometimes I kind of forget about like how much we actually have going for us here, like with the lake not being too far and going boating and things like that. So I wanted you to know kind of what the cost of living is. You might want to make some friends who have a boat unless you, unless you want to go ahead and buy one. Um, a lot of people are about that boat life, which is also a really, really big attraction to this West Michigan area. People love the freshwater lake. So it's definitely something that I really wanted to put in front of you guys. And that's pretty much it. I just wanted to level with you, tell you everything that you need to know as far as the cost of living. So you know exactly how to budget, what to expect when you're coming into town, things to do as far as you know, setting your money aside and making sure you can do the things that you want to do. So I'm also putting some links in the description so you know exactly what those links are, where I'm getting this information. And I can attest to a lot of these things. If they were different, you know I'd let you know. But in the meantime, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Again, like I said, I get people contacting me all the time. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, tap that notification bell so you don't miss out on all the brand new videos that I'm gonna do each and every week for you guys. Again, for things to do and sights to see, this is Live Great TV, and I'm your host to Living Great in Grand Rapids and the West Michigan area. This is Vaughn Greathouse. The name and number you see and coming across the screen right now is gonna be the way to get a hold of me, my direct line. So if you need to contact me for any reason, get a hold of me, and we'll see you guys on the next video.